Hello and welcome to Satisfactory Pioneer. Today we are checking on the fuel drone dribble delivery ship thing that I made over here. So we're over here at the the oil islands as people like to call it. So this is my no power uh, no power god mode build. Um, I did still go through all the tiers so um, let's start over here. So we're powering an entire world of drones off of this one blueprint that I made. So let's see, only 200 fuel a minute. Uh, let's see, 100 heavy oil residue and uh, that's just for plastic. Uh, I got containers being made. And so, really, I just have it all merging to this one. And then I have it set to uh, overflow. Overflow that way, overflow that way. Any. Um, so, I divide it into a bunch of containers like this. And then that way, I got a surplus forever, pretty much. So, we built this uh, crane. So it just transports it here, brings it in up here, up the conveyors, all the way down to the top here, and then down into the cargo hold. Got my explorers for this new expedition on a new planet. Um, let's see, go down here. Whoa, hey. Yeah, I'm stuck. Ah. So this is my fuel drone ship, if you will. So pretty straightforward. I made another one of these on another video, um, but it wasn't a drone ship. It had like all the high-end late game stuff in it. So here's my drone ship, pretty much. Um, let's go up to my captain's quarters there, or the control module. Let me turn my mouse speed down. Alright. So this is where we control the ship from. I have everything I need to captain the ship into the new planet. Everything's operational. Fuel's loading constantly. Everything is good to go. So there's my control panel room. Um, I started doing these light walls like that and then hide them in there. If you get a decent color going, they do do some cool ambient light. Um, so let's go over here or we'll come out onto the deck and then we can walk over all of our drones. I think they're all out. Let's see. Cannot unload. Cannot unload. Alright, so if you're doing a fuel drone setup like this, the key is to let it all fill up first. It's going to take a, a while to buffer, so just go on and build some other stuff and come back to it. Keep checking on it. Don't become reliant on the drones immediately. But uh, if we look at my map, let's get rid of all. So I have all of these drone ports all of these are drones all drones what is that what's that last port 70 drone ports now that would be crazy uh, if you were having to supply power for it but um, so that's my map and I've only explored this much of the map Oh, here's the back end of the ship. Um, I thought this came out pretty damn cool. I actually got some fuel gens in there, just burning fuel for cosmetics. <laughs> uh, I think I forgot to finish this side, but I tried to make it look like a cool engine or something. Um, I don't know, I thought it turned out pretty cool. 
All right, so let's see what it's all powering. So ignore my spaghetti oil factory here. Um, actually, if you have the all, well, see, everybody's got fuel all the time. Um, this is actually a really good alt for late game stuff. I uh, can do turn crude oil straight into diamonds. And then uh, just the standard time crystal recipe. So you can crank out quite a few crystals from, uh, let's see, how much oil is that? Uh, that's a 600 on a 300 pipe. <laughs> 500. Oops. Okay, it'll probably run better now. <laughs> Alright, let's stay focused. Alright, so this is just my messy oil setup. Uh, let's go back over here. I think the drone ship looks badass, just saying. Oh, looks cooler than my last one. It actually looks more like a ship. Alright, let's head over to... Well, there's aluminum here up top. So what I do is I just send... Uh, I always have one drone as the main delivery. as, And then make sure you label where it's going. And then we can just power everything. Aluminum cases out to auto sorter. Empty cylinders for nitrogen. What do we got over here? Uh, aluminum ingots. All right, let's go over here. So if you're playing a vanilla build, you need to do an auto sorter. Um, if you're gonna do uh, drones coming into the auto sorter what you want to do is you don't want to set a drone here on this landing pad on the one that you want to receive so what you're gonna do is you're gonna tell other drones to come here but you're not gonna select the port there so these will constantly keep bringing items in here um, well except for they're probably doing something else uh, yeah and then make sure you label your floors what? I don't even have Mark Five Six belts right here. What a loser. Um, this is kind of my lazy auto sorter. Um, I kind of didn't really finish all of these, or I don't have them coming back here yet. Uh, so if you do multi line, that's a lot better. Um, get out of there. Um, so yeah, we managed to do drones here. I mean, this is literally making everything in the late game. Oh, except for sheets. Oh, ran out of sheets here. Let's make some. There we go. Let's see some quantum encoding. This stuff wasn't actually that hard to put together. But um, if you were doing it on a vanilla build where you have to actually provide the power this would be really daunting you have to make a massive power plant um, so yeah I did actually uh, hit the end game with this spaghetti factory um, this is an easy way to set up the dimensional depot um, just drop it on in just make sure when your stockpile fills up. Uh, otherwise, it'll stop the belt. So, yeah, we made it to uh, tier 9 on here. Select milestone. No milestones left. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Yep, nothing left to build on the space elevator either. Yeah, see, we got more drones over here. This one's literally just supplying that. <laughs> uh, we got some crystal oscillators. These are great, but I'm cheating, so um, I'm maxing out everything. 
Um, yep. So we finished that. Um, I'm going to try to do it on a vanilla build. Um, let's go see where else are we running drones to. Yeah, this is kind of a f whack factory. Oh, the quantum encoding is pretty cool. Um, I don't know what those do. Those are weird. All right, let's head to the northern forest. All right, that's our quick wire factory. Just a random manufacturer sitting there. All right, we're gonna land right at our next drone facility. So I have one drone from the ship over there coming all the way to here. And that one will fill up these 10 drones. And then we can just drone everything everywhere. And the idea with the drone system is you want that drone waiting to unload all the time. So, like here. So this drone will sit here and wait and wait and wait until this product can move. So here we'll demonstrate. So watch. We'll just throw. We'll just throw it out of the way. So here we go. Now it starts flooding. Once it drops to 900 stacks. So the machine starts to kind of move a bit. Now this drone, which is left, 300. Let's just get rid of 300 so the drone can take off. Are you going to take off? There you go. All right, that drone will go and keep coming back and forth until it fills that drone port up seeing how you can only move 900 at a time uh, works pretty decently and then I built another little fuel plant here uh, using the same uh, the same blueprint over there as I did over there um, I am using the multiplier over here though cheater and then yeah just overclock everything um if you're in this area right here on the map uh where oh, whoa where are we right here at those coordinates you can squeeze in some water purifiers in these spots right here i think there might be another spot somewhere you can fit uh sometimes you gotta they're not going to look the best, but I don't think I got them all. There's one more spot or there used to be one more over here. Um, yeah, if you don't really care what it looks like, but so yeah, I always use this as a water station uh, to get oil from over there. Um, yeah, so we got our refineries over here doing the oil. Making plastic, plastic for containers, petroleum coke. Um, and then we're going to head over to the desert and check out the final drone hub of this video. And there we are. Oh, it's getting foggy. All right, so what I do is I just send a, a drone to a different hub. And then from here, I'll have this hub fill up other hubs. So there's my drone hub here. So always have a container source with extras. Because all the extras on this setup matters. So, but... If you get it this congested and everything's on backup and there's availability everywhere, you'll have an unlimited supply of uh, fuel. So 
you really don't even have to make complex fuel systems really to to drone everything now now you don't have to make batteries so I plan on sending these drones out to different locations here and I don't know build a mega factory or something or these little satellites this is kind of nice uh, with that blueprint you can literally Oh, where is it? It's at the bottom now. Oh, where did it go? Right here. So yeah, you can literally just drop this whole factory. Yeah, here we'll do it. Hey, there's some stuff there. Where can we put it? There we go. We'll just put it right there. And then we'll go We'll just set it right there. Of course you're pure. There. Uh did I set it backwards? No, I didn't. Pace, 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 yeah, and then just go up here and be like, okay, we're gonna make, uh, let's, let's do, let's make a bunch of iron rods, boop, 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 And it's that easy. All right. Just pick something up here and then build some assemblers on top and then decorate it and you've got yourself modular, ready to go, one-click factories pretty much. All right. Have a good night. Thank you.